Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all have seen the previous video of Gender Chat with Miss Benji. I hope you guys loved it. And this is Divine Scarlet with one more very special guest, my very old friend and someone who has been my constant support. Please welcome Suruj aka Glorious Luna. Hi Suruj. Hi everyone and hi Divine Scarlet. I love your look. I love the makeup you have done. It's so it's so chic and it just I mean I I feel like I feel I don't have anything on. I feel nothing in front of you. My goodness. <laughs> People should see you as Glorious Luna the drag performer and they will know what drag queens look like. <laughs> <laughs> well thank you but glorious luna is always on the stage like around the house i'm sulu jonli because drag is not my lifestyle drag is more like a performance it's more work like you know definitely and that brings us to our main topic that we are discussing on this particular series which is gender identity so i would like to first uh, address uh, two questions of mine first what is your gender identity and how or what pronouns would you like to use it uh well my gender identity is gender fluid uh i identify as neither male nor female uh and uh, my pronouns are you can use anything he she they as long as you call me uh with love anything is fine actually as long wow. as you give me respect yeah anything is fine well that reminds me of miss benji as well because she also uh, you know considers herself uh, gender fluid So we have another gender yes. fluid person people and you guys need to note it down. Gender fluid people are okay. I mean, I don't know about everyone, but for the last two, I mean, today is the second, both of them are okay with all the genders. But make sure that you say it with love. <laughs> exactly. Right. And also also it's important to ask people their pronouns because you know these things are so personal and also emotional. So uh, I mean I would uh, really appreciate it if people ask you prior what is your like like how you asked me what are your uh, preferred pronouns and I would like every single person to do that because Definitely. it's important uh this is what we are trying to uh, propagate through uh, this series as well that as we are questioning everyone before we start the discussion Uh, now okay. coming to the things that we uh, would like to know um how many people have you come across who are usually you know interested in your identity uh, more than usual wow actually funnily uh, from like since the last decade people are opening up to me uh too much because when i was in school or when i was just starting my college it was really really hard for me like i did not have anybody to talk to and i come from a really small town you know in assam and i absolutely had no one to talk to like and people were always kind of call, calling me with names they bullied me and it was really really hard but uh, like since a few years now um i uh, i have been seeing a lot of people who are either interested in talking about gender in general identity in general and people are becoming more and more you know confident um but you know there are there are assholes everywhere like you know sometimes i have met people also who just want to ask you questions that will make you uncomfortable you know it's it's not that they're interested in your gender identity it's just they want to you know make you feel bad of who you are which shouldn't be the case but then there are sweet people also and there are curious people also who would always uh, be very interested in making a conversation and that's the way to do it actually if you have any you know confusion you walk up to that person and you ask that person because generally lgbtq people are really really friendly i don't know why people fear us so much 
but we are super friendly uh, you know like we would tell you uh, if you ask us anything you know like if you have any confusion we will definitely clear that out just ask ask with respect ask with love you know that's that's what matters well definitely here is one more thing that you guys should take back home from this particular uh, statement that uh, suraj has given till now that is ask ask nicely and you shall receive that's how yes. it is um yes. now coming to the But point can we um, just talk about your look for a moment can we talk about your look how stunning are you looking come on oh my god oh my god i love that it's like it's like a little universe on your face you know like all those stars and then like that gray blue Oh wow it's like a constellation I mean your name is divine scarlet and you're representing it girl like totally <laughs> honored hashtag honored <laughs> <laughs> yes you should be because you're so beautiful <laughs> thank you and honestly um, i have been uh, you know i am being honest and loud on this recording which is going to be published on youtube i have been jealous of your facial features it's so beautiful it's so gorgeous <laughs> I-, <laughs> i see i but, but again i think even like your face is is very like high fashion and like you have like the right kind of jawline and your cheekbones and your nose and you're tall you're very tall yeah <laughs> uh, yeah i mean I, i i don't mean to disrespect short people or anything like that and that I, i didn't mean it that way but you're beautiful Like when you walk into the room, people would be like, "Who is that?" And my six inches heels yeah, do me a lot of favor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> hmm. Now, one more thing that I would like to ask because you said that you know, uh, in the past there have been a lot of people who uh, used to name call you and uh, you know disrespect you. Um I'm pretty sure a lot of people who have been going through the similar uh, situations especially the young children uh it yes. definitely creates a lot of mental pressure what would you yes. tell them or what would you suggest them how to deal with this how to fight this first thing i would tell them it's going to be fine okay it's going to be fine everything shall pa- pass at some point so this will pass too if you are struggling from you know uh, b- people bullying you in school or college you just don't put a put your mind to it because that's gonna further disturb you more you know you should learn to ignore because you know i don't don't pay them any mind unless they pay them pay your bills you know like really that's what rupaul says and i live by that really i mean yeah. you have to learn to yes you have to learn to really ignore ignore certain things i couldn't because i i grew up in a very very small town and i was probably the only gay person in the in the school and people used to really harass me actually and and mostly it was boys you know it was always and actually th- th- there is this one fact that from women i like women have never treated me bad actually like it was always the boys or the men like in college it was the college boys and even in bombay like i shifted to bombay like 3 years ago even i sometimes meet some men uh, you know when i travel um the, in the metro or in the train like sometimes i i you know get to meet certain men who would just you know try to touch you and make you feel uncomfortable and, and it's crazy it's crazy and it's always the men you know so and- i think oh, yeah sorry i'm uh, i just wanted to say before anyone wants to comment and bash on the comment section that not all men are uh, dear people 
we are not saying all men we are saying yes, that it happens not saying all usually men. from the men inside we are not saying that usually all men are from the men exactly exactly and also dissociating yourself from the rest of the men is not going to help in any way so you should you know like if you're trying to say not all men that is also a problem because you are trying to dissociate yourself and you know uh, and and it's not going to help us in any way you know so don't say you know not all men because it's mostly men true so that is yeah. what we need to uh, take back from here that you know it it, it may not be all men but the point yeah. that most of the men have been the perpetrators yes. of such incidents is terrifying because yeah. whether you like it or not um one person is enough to you know dishonor the whole clan that is usually yeah. the case that happens Yeah why we know and I have, not the case. Been, I have been be- yeah I have been beaten up in school you know uh in in college I was always you know like people are always calling me with names like gur chakka hijra jawanni kam khachar I don't know all sorts all sorts and really if if someone like if anybody watching this video is going through the same problems just try to ignore it will pass all right or just don't don't put your mind to this really it's not going to help in any way true in the end i believe uh if you see us talking about these issues right now it's because we have lived through it and we learned our lessons how to go yeah. ahead with our lives in the end to be very honest if you end up focusing on your career and making your career making yourself yourself successful trust me those people can go on saying plenty of plethora of shit about you but if you are a successful person they can never touch you yes exactly exactly just focus on your goals and just that's what is going to help actually and that's the best revenge that you can take just be yourself be a, a, you know unapologetically be yourself and and just try to achieve your goals you know that's the best you can do really definitely now um since we are almost uh, running out of time I just would like to ask you uh what would be your one message to the world out there uh for the people who are facing uh with the gender issues and the people who are inquisitive about gender issues whether it is in a positive or a negative way I feel you shouldn't take you know things like gender and sexuality seriously really because it's these things are not things to be made fun of these things are not to be taken seriously don't make a fuss about it you know like we all are 100% human beings at the end of the day and uh, you should rather you know take love seriously or or friendship seriously or education seriously you know in a country like india i think the priority is education at the moment uh it can be anything sex education academics art culture i think these are the things that you should take seriously but gender sexuality it's everybody's choice and you should live and let other people live and don't make a fuss about it because you know see like we are not bothering you with anything like we whatever we do we do it inside the house you know like and that shouldn't bother you in any way because you are doing what you are doing and this is nature nature is, it's you know like in in every species uh, in that exists in nature has some sort of homosexuality in it and this is how 
nature works so so you should just go ahead and learn to be to make peace with it and and just be peaceful and let us live in peace and harmony that's that's what i like the world to understand very true i hope that message goes out loud and clear to the people who are watching it because amen to suraj <laughs> <laughs> amen to divine scarlet <laughs> thank you for well, i mean this is so important thank you for uh, you know thank you that you have taken the courage and and some time to uh, you know educate people and you have taken up this responsibility i appreciate that i really really do and i love you for doing this thank you really so much. and i love you for being with me here on the show and i can't thank you enough for that uh we have been planning for a long time let me remind you that yeah <laughs> yeah and uh yes, that i'm sorry <laughs> that's okay before we end this uh would you like to do the honor please oh yes listen guys you have to like subscribe and share to homo wonder no it's divine that's right now Oh, it's Divine Scarlet now. Yes, it, yeah, it used to be Homo Wanderer before, but now it's Divine Scarlet. So you have to listen to her. It's Divine Scarlet. Like, subscribe, and share, and share it with your friend. Share it with the people that you think they need to listen to this. Maybe it will help some people in any way. So please do it. All right. I love you guys. Hey Take man, care. thank you so much, uh, Glorious Luna, aka Suraj. You have been wonderful as usual, and I love thank having you, you around. I miss you. I'm thank going to you. see you soon once the lockdown is over. Yes, see me soon. Yes, bye. <laughs> All right, love. It was wonderful. Take care. Bye, everyone. Enjoy your lockdown. Bye, everyone.